Welcome to this QuickBooks tutorial on how to fix a reconciliation discrepancy in QuickBooks. Uh, there are two common errors that I see uh, that you're going to have to learn how to fix in your QuickBooks company file. All right, so these are two fairly common uh, errors that come up or discrepancies that come, come up when you're trying to reconcile. And this really applies to a checking account or a credit card when you're reconciling. So let's go through both of these errors and how to fix them. Okay, so the first one is we're going to go up to banking. You're going to go down and you're going to reconcile. So let's say it's a checking account and you, you have your statement. You go to reconcile in QuickBooks. All right, so let me change this to the checking account. All right, and if we have an ending balance, let's say we've got one in here for 45,000, okay? Now, the first error is going to be when this beginning balance right here, 82,638.20, this is gonna be from your previous reconciliation. So in this example, the statement date was one uh, was 1231 for the previous one, and now for this statement, it's 131, 2024. So in the previous statement, we reconciled the end balance to 82,638.20. Now, this needs to match your beginning balance on your current statement. A common discrepancy that happens is that this beginning balance does not match. All right. Now, how that happens, okay, you can click this link and it's going to take you to a help screen that is going to give you some ideas, some articles on what to look for. Now, a quick and easy way to do that, though, is to go to this button right here that says Locate Discrepancies. All right, so you're going to choose the account. In this case, it's checking because that's the account we were reconciling. And it's going to say last reconciled 1231-2023, beginning balance 82-638-20. All right, so if that is different, what, what typically has happened is that an, an entry was made that changes the checking account from the previous reconciliation. You may have entered something, you may have gone in and changed a transaction, you may have changed a date on a transaction, but typically that is what is gonna happen is that a previous transaction was changed. Now you can do a couple of things here. First of all, click discrepancy report to view changes made to previously cleared transactions. So if I click this, it's gonna show that, hey, you reconciled 1231-2023, and here are some transactions that changed, okay? There was some something that was deleted here for $5,000. There were two of them. There was a journal entry and a check, all right? So if you're off by $10,000, that's going to be your discrepancy right there. And what you're going to have to do is go in and fix that, all right? Let me close this. Okay, so that discrepancy report is very, very important. Now, you can also check previous reports. All right, so previous reconciliation reports. And right down here, you can choose transactions cleared at the time of the reconciliation to locate where the differences might be. And you have the option of doing transactions cleared plus any changes made to those transactions since reconciliation. So you have that option as well. So you can pull up those reports. Let me show you here when you hit display it's gonna show you all of the transactions uh, that cleared plus any changes. So you can compare this to your previous reconciliation to find where a discrepancy might be. Now, if you have to, uh, you can unclear, you can undo the last reconciliation. So if you need to undo it and then re-reconcile that previous period, you can do that, all right? And once you make the changes, you can restart this reconciliation here that we started just a minute ago. Okay, so that's really the first error that you can fix, okay, is error in the, an error in this beginning balance. You want to make sure that this matches, and if it doesn't, you want to find where the discrepancies are. Okay, now the next error that you could face when you're doing a reconciliation is if we go and let's say we put in the ending balance from our statement, we record any service charges, interest earned, etc., and we're assuming our beginning balance matches. Let's hit continue. And if we go here and we say hide transactions, all right, and we go through our bank statement and we check off everything, we think that we have cleared everything. Okay, let's say this is, uh, let me check off a couple of other ones here. Okay, so if we go down here and we have a difference, this is a reconciliation discrepancy. 
all right? So this difference when you're doing your reconciliation, and I've got other videos on doing the reconciliation, plus in our full training we have this, but you wanna make sure this difference right here is zero when you're reconciling to your statement. If it's not, this is the other typical error that you're gonna find. Now, as a general rule of thumb, it depends on the size of the company. But if your reconciliation discrepancy is, let's say $10 or less or $20 or less, or it's some relatively small amount, some immaterial amount, what I see people typically do is they will spend hours and hours looking for this additional $10 or $20. Uh, to be honest with you, when it's that immaterial, just click reconciliation, reconcile now and put it as an adjustment in your books because that is a small immaterial amount. It's typically not worth spending that much time. Now, if it's easy to find, then most definitely you want to go and find it, fix it, and then come back to your reconciliation. All right, so when you have this difference here, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go through, again, go through your bank statement, uh, go through all the transactions and check them off and make sure that you captured every single transaction. Now, if you didn't, uh, if there's a transaction that you did not uh, record or whatever the case may be, uh, you can hit leave and then just go to your check register. Let's say we go over to our checking and we can record that transaction. Okay, so depending on what that transaction was, if it was a, a customer payment, you're going to go to customers receive payments. If it was a debit card transaction, you can record it directly in the register. If it was a check for a bill payment that you forgot to record, you're going to go to vendors and pay bills. But the point being that you need to get that transaction into QuickBooks so that you can go back to uh, your reconcile screen. All right and you say continue, it'll pull up this last one for the checking. It's gonna save your progress. And when you get that transaction in there, you check it off and get this to zero. Okay, so the point being here, that if you have this, uh, this reconciliation discrepancy, you want to either put an adjustment in QuickBooks. So if I click reconcile now, you'll see that you can uh, return to reconcile, leave reconcile, or enter adjustment. But I only recommend entering adjustment if it's really, really small relative to the size of your company. All right, and if it's not, if it's something like $36,000 like this one, then you want to find where that discrepancy is, record that transaction in QuickBooks, come back to the reconciliation, and fix it from there. Go ahead and check off the transaction and get that difference to zero. Okay, so let me return to reconcile here. All right, so these are the two common errors. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment below. Head over to the QuickBooks University where we talk about all this kind of stuff, especially in our private Facebook group where I answer your questions uh, when you become a member of the QuickBooks University, uh, and I can really help you out. Head over there now, qbuniversity.org.